Do you struggle to find ideas for your social media content? It can take a lot of time to actually find good ideas that actually resonate with your audience. So why don't we just ask them? This is exactly what I did about a month ago and now I created a system that actually takes the ideas captured from my audience and uses AI to develop a really good draft for my content. Well, if you're new to the channel, my name is Matt and I'm super passionate about creating AI solutions for businesses, especially on the sales and marketing side of things. And about a month ago, I started creating templates where I asked my audience to give me their email and some basic information in exchange for those templates, uh, essentially what we call gated content or lead magnets and in that lead form I included an optional tab for video ideas for the future and now that started to pay off so essentially I'm creating a feedback loop where I create content people give me feedback on it and they give me more ideas and then an AI LLM model starts drafting that content I go and edit that draft record edit and post for you guys so without waiting any longer why don't we jump into the computer and start setting up the system for ourselves we're going to set this up in make.com which is essentially a platform that connects other platforms into automations well and I'm gonna leave a link down in the description below where you can get access to that platform uh, they have a really good free trial and you can use that to build that for yourself and once you're logged in you can just click on create a scenario uh, and this is the window that's gonna pop up I'm just gonna go ahead and name my scenario over here and we're gonna have three steps for our automation the first one will be Google Sheets because I created a very simple uh, Google Forms that just exports the information to a Google Sheets if you already have a lead form connected to a CRM you can take information from that CRM uh, and input over here uh, so for our first step is going to be watch new rows and it's a very simple step to connect uh, your Google Drive or your Google Sheets to make. You just have to click add over here and then sign in with Google and you should be able to connect pretty seamlessly. And over here, you click here to choose the file that you're going to use. Um, and the one that we're going to use is this dummy data on uh, the contact information from responses over here is the original one but I wanted to show you guys what this uh, actually looks like without revealing any of the real information from the people that are trusting me with their information. And essentially, this is kind of like what the responses look like. We have first name, last name, video idea. And in the last one, we also have an email. Uh, and the video idea is also an optional one. So that's why I left this uh, this cell here empty. And the first name and last names are all uh, fictional ones based on Disney characters. But all the video ideas are real video ideas that I got from the forms. So it's good because we're going to be seeing this work in real time, like with real responses. And back here in Make, once you selected the, the spreadsheet that you're using, just remember to select the sheet as well. Over here, table contains headers. Mine does contain headers. So I'm just going to leave it there for right now. Uh, rows with headers are correct over here. And I'm just going to change the limit from two to one because I want this automation to run one at a time. The second step for our automation is going to be an AI step. And I like using uh, OpenAI for this one. Uh, and I'm just going to click on create a chat completion. If you're not already connected to your OpenAI account, uh, it's very easy to connect. You just need to click add over here and it's going to request two key information over here from you, your API key and your organization ID. And to get access to this information is actually really easy. You just need to go to platform.openai-api keys. Uh, you can just go to like platform.openai, create an account. And then once you create an account, you just click on dashboards and then under dashboards, you're going to see this API keys over here on the left and you click on create a new secret key. And once you create a secret key, it's going to give both of those uh, keys for you, your organization ID and your API key, which you can use to paste it over here and save. And once that's connected, you can go and select a model. I'm going to use GPT 4.0 because it's the most updated model and is the best one for our purposes in general over here. For the max number of tokens, I'm just going to go with the limit for the model. Uh, you can choose and edit this however you see fit. Feel free to like take this and edit however you want. And for the messages, I'm going to include two messages, a system message and a user message. Each one is going to fulfill a specific role. A system message is just kind of the message that you outline what the system like will be doing and like who the system is essentially. And the messages that we're going over here are these two for the system message. We have, you are a content specialist for YouTube. You are great at structuring, compelling YouTube videos based on rough ideas from the audience, which kind of just outlines what we need this uh, GPT to do. Uh, also on the user message, which is essentially our prompt, we are we have this simple prompt over here that says, I have a YouTube channel about AI automation where I help business owners implement AI tools in their businesses. 
here is a content idea that I received from a viewer. And then here, I'm just going to click on video ideas to import from the Google sheets. And then right after this, I say, please structure this idea and include a compelling hook at the beginning and a call to action at the end. So the next step for us is going to create a filter. And essentially, since in the lead form that we created, the video ideas are optional. That's why I left this all empty over here. Uh, people don't necessarily need to leave a video idea whenever they're grabbing the templates uh, that would be asking too much from people. So essentially what we want to do is to set up a filter over here that looks at video ideas and only moves forward if that video idea exists. So we're going to set a condition here for video idea. And instead of equals to, we're going to change this by clicking on the arrow into exists. And that is the only filter that we're going to keep. We can also create a different type of filter where we look at the cell and we analyze if that's a content idea or not before we move on to the drafting stage. So essentially you could add a completion model for OpenAI over here and you can just ask like, oh, this is a response from a lead form that I have. Is this a video idea? Only respond with yes or no. And then you create a filter that grabs that answer. And if it's yes, it moves forward. If it's no, if it's no, it doesn't move forward. But for the sake of simplicity for this video, I'm just going to keep one filter. Uh, filters are really easy to use and they're super easy to learn as well. So just feel free to take a look at that on your own. And now that we have a filter set up, we're actually going to connect this third step to Notion. Notion is my platform of choice to put all of my content ideas uh, and drafts of contents in there. You can use Google Docs or whatever other tool that you're used to using. I think ClickUp is a good option as well. And I'm just really used to Notion. I have a very simple system of sorts in Notion of how I record these ideas, nothing too complex, even though I want to update that sometime soon and maybe even make a video about it if you guys are interested in it. For my purposes, I'm just gonna go over here on Notion and look for create a page. Uh, and that's the one that we're gonna be using. So for the create a page module, this is what you need to add. But before we go into that, let me show you how to connect your Notion account to make. First of all, you click on add and you select the connection type, go with internal over here. And then here you choose your name of the connection and the internal integration token. For you to get your internal integration token, you need to go to Notion. Once you're in Notion, you want to click on settings over here and click on connection. And then you want to click on develop or manage integrations. And over here on this page is gonna open this browser page. You just click on new integration. Uh, here you give it a name. I'm gonna say make integration associated workspace. You just select your account and the type here is going to be internal. Once you save that, you just have to configure integration, which essentially means that you're gonna allow these three things for it to read content, update content and insert content. Uh, I don't have any needs for comments or anything like that. So that's all I'm going to leave. And you can copy this internal integration secret key and then you can go ahead and save the integration. When you go back to make, you just click on integration token, paste your integration key and save. And once you have that, you are going to do one thing that you're going to look for the parent page of your uh, Notion page. And you can do this in one of two ways. You can either search for it as it connects uh, over here and you can search for the name of your page or you can just grab the parent ID. And before you actually grab the parent page ID, one thing that you need to make sure that's uh, working properly is to go over to your Notion page that you're going to use. Uh, click on the main page. This is my main page. And then over here, you go into connections and click connect to, and then you search your make integration that you just created. I already did that. So we can go back and insert the parent page. There's two ways to do this. If you don't have the map button clicked over here, you can just look for your name for the name of your page and just go from there but I'm going to go with the more complicated route just to show you guys the other way to pick that up. So the other way that you can go around this is like if you have a page, for example, this one is my page called audience ideas. You go to the URL of that page and then you copy this one over here right after audience ideas. This is your parent page ID. Turn on map first and you paste that in here. Just to make sure it's uh, doing, putting it in the right place. Here for the title of the page, I'm just going to select the name of the video idea itself. Uh, before the content type, the first thing that I'm going to select is going to be heading. And in the text box, I'm just going to include uh, content by, and then I'll select first name and last name. So once we add that, we're going to add another item over here. 
and this time I'm going to add it as a paragraph. And in this paragraph, I'm just going to paste the output from the previous step. So I'll keep it as text. And then over here on the OpenAI step, we're going to go into choices, message, content. And, and really, if you're doing this on your own, you should have saved this as you created and tested the, the steps to see if they were running properly. I just created this automation before, so I expect this to work, uh, but don't forget to just always like save your automation when you're making changes and you know do that step by step. But now that we have this set up, let's actually try to run once and see if any errors come up. All right, great. So it looks like it ran successfully. Uh, one way for you to see the page that you created is to go over here on the Notion output and click on URL, copy that and paste it in a different uh, in a different page, just because it does take a second for Notion to update on the app. Uh, but you can definitely just kind of like go into the thing that you went. Actually, this updated really quickly. So it created already the page with the title from the, the video idea. I need to find video how to create graphic with me journey. Uh, and we have content by Peter Pan. And let's see the output that ChatGPT gave us or that GPT-4 gave us. So it looks like we have a very solid section over here. I just wanna make sure that we have what we asked it to create. So the hook is right here in the beginning. Start with a rapid montage of stunning graphics created using AI, followed by you speaking confidently on camera, and then a little script of what to say. And then it goes into like a step-by-step -step on what to say. Uh, I do take these minutes as optional. Uh, you, as you guys might have noticed, my videos are usually longer on YouTube. So I just kind of like take my time with this. And here it's kind of going over like the process of using Midjourney and whatnot. And at the very end, as we ask for a call to action, that is one minute. Uh, ready to revolutionize your business graphics with Midjourney. Make sure to try out the tool yourself. So, so far this looks really solid as like structure. I would definitely use this as like a draft to start building upon this and then actually going into recording. But the idea is to move fast between the ideation stage to the drafting stage. So you're just editing the script and going to your recording session uh, when you get to your recording days. Another thing that I wanted to try is to go back over here into the automation because we do have an empty role over here and it worked. The filter that we set up uh, worked. It didn't move forward the Google Sheets because it was empty into ChatGPT, uh, which essentially just works well because it saves us the credits that we were going to use. And just to be safe, I'm gonna generate once more to see if everything is working because I'm curious what kind of output is going to come up with for that next video idea. So the scenario ran successfully and we created another uh, page over here on Notion. And for this one, I was a bit more interested in because when I read this idea on my content form, I was like, oh, okay, like an AI bot for doing outreach on LinkedIn. I have an idea of how to do that. And then another one to scrape contact and mail uh, to put it in Mautic and create a mailing campaigns. So I was like, okay, it's mentioning two specific tools here. And I was curious how ChatGPT was actually going to like work around that. Uh, and let's take a look at what it did. Yeah, so definitely like it doesn't outline the step-by-step -step on how to use like an AI LinkedIn bot or uh, Mautic itself, but it's really nice because it outlines everything that I can say in the video and then I can just use this structure to write more things. You can definitely, once you're here, just use um, the AI in Notion if you have the paid plan to kind of like go off on those ideas, but especially for this type of content, which is more tutorial based, write it yourself and do it yourself. That's the best way to go about it. So that's how you create an automation that actually takes advantage of that feedback loop created in previous videos. If you're actually going from zero to one with content and you don't have any content ideas to start with and you don't have an audience to leverage yet, I'm planning on creating a video about that and about how I think about content creation. So you can go and click over here and watch that video right away when I create it and post it. But if you already have somewhat of an audience set up and you want to start implementing AI into your content marketing or your overall marketing, please don't hesitate to reach out to me and something that I'm also considering is to create a school community so you guys can take advantage of having one-on-one -on -one access with me as well as everyone else in the community that is interested in creating AI solutions 
for businesses. And I'm pretty sure that's an idea I'm gonna implement soon. I'm thinking about creating uh, workshops and creating weekly Q and A sessions as well. So if that's something that you'd be interested in, just let me know down in the comments below. And I'm honestly just looking for the validation or the demand from the community, from you guys. So if that's something that you'd be interested in, please just let me know and I'll create that right away. And now that you're already leveraging your audience to start creating some content ideas, you might be wondering how to do that with AI. And I actually created a video about two AI video generators that you can use for your social media efforts or something else in your business. And you can just go ahead and check that video out. And if you are interested in the topic of automation, AI and marketing, just go ahead and subscribe because that's what we cover over here in this channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.